if you do like more okay thanks get out get out oh my god i'm so tan it's just so natural okay bye 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 bye, bye. <laughs> hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be talking about a fascinating topic that i think you're going to find really interesting let's talk about no makeup phobia now this is actually something that my friend spoke to me about it's not i don't really think it's something that's really talked about actually at all um this is just the name that I'm calling it and that we've called it. No makeup phobia is such a thing. I think pretty much all girls, if not most girls, have experienced no makeup phobia. I would say is when you feel like you have to cover your skin with makeup in order to do certain things. I think us as women, us as girls, females, feel the need, and maybe even some men do to be honest, um, feel the need to cover up their skin. I think the whole conversation about men and uh, their imperfections is a whole different topic so I'm not going to really go into that much today but I think that most women and probably some men feel the need to cover their skin um, and if you take a step back for a moment and think hang on why are we doing this we're doing this because we think that by putting on makeup we're more attractive now don't get me wrong when I put on makeup I do feel more confident I do feel more confident because my skin like this I have been told by society that this is ugly, that this isn't as nice as a full face of foundation. Sometimes my skin, in my opinion, looks worse with foundation on. Sometimes it's cakey, it's heavy. I look in certain lighting and I'm like, oh God, it's accentuating my skin. So that's not to say that makeup's bad, but it's also saying, well, sometimes makeup doesn't help. Have you ever been in a situation before when, let's give a random, random example. Okay, so have you ever gone on a date to meet a boy for the first time and then wore no makeup. But yeah, just not put any makeup on or put some mascara on, some lip balm on and just left your skin. Because if you have, that's amazing. For some people, if they've got clearer skin, it's a lot easier. For people with acne, it might be a lot harder. But I think to go on a date with a boy and not wear any makeup or to meet someone new for the first time and not necessarily look like the best version of yourself is extremely hard. I know I, like if I was meeting a boy for the first time, it's like if I was single it was someone I was trying to impress, I'd put on makeup, I'd put on a full face of makeup, I'd try and make myself look as presentable as possible and that's normal but I also think that part of that is because society has made us believe that we, are, we only look presentable, we only look the best version of ourselves when we have makeup on and that's crazy. I've had it before when we were basically seeing each other, getting to know them, and because I didn't know him well enough, I went to bed with makeup on. And I knew that my skin was going to be sacrificed. I knew that I'd probably wake up in the morning with three billion spots, but I didn't care because I wanted to look pretty. I wanted to look the best version of myself. But the stupid thing is, the real you is you stripped back. That is the real you. That is how you were born. You're not born with makeup on. We're just told that you have to put makeup on to feel pretty. And that's so wrong. Like so wrong like me sat here okay should i feel ugly because i haven't got foundation on should i feel like oh no there's someone standing there or like there's there's someone opposite me when i'm having a conversation with someone okay the first thing i think of if i don't know them too well is my skin if i know them really well if i'm talking to my sister my skin's not even in my mind i don't know if you've ever noticed that you're probably thinking oh god my skin um i need to address this topic of conversation or i don't want to be seen or i need to cover it up now, we even do it amongst girls. Have you ever apologised to your skin? Have you ever gone, oh, sorry about my skin, it's just a bit, I have. I have. Why are we doing that? Why are we apologising for our skin? Why? Where has that come from? You don't need to apologise. Talk about your skin with one another. It should be a topic. Like, obviously, I want to start a conversation. I want everyone to keep talking about this. But... You don't have to apologise for your skin. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. I need to stop doing that. You need to stop doing that. We need to stop doing that. I hope this video didn't come across as rambly. I think all my points that I said are extremely valid and extremely... They just... Look, we just need to start talking about this and we need to start realising that we're not put on this earth just to look pretty. Women don't owe you pretty, okay? We don't. Sorry, but we don't. Newsflash. We don't. I don't know if you've ever found it, but like... Sometimes if I'm going to run an errand, something as small as like going to the post office, regardless, this is before COVID time. So I find that with the mask, it hides most of my skin. As you can see, 
it's all around my cheek area, kind of here. I've got texture on my forehead, but in terms of big spots, there I don't really have any up here. Now, I found myself putting on makeup when I'm going to the post office. Why? Even if we bumped in to the person who we care about opinion on what we look like the most. I know you want to look your best and you can look your best by, you know, brushing your hair and maybe putting a tiny bit of lip balm on if you want your lips to look more, you know, maybe you want to put some mascara on. Maybe you do want to put makeup on. Do it. Do whatever makes you feel comfortable. I want to keep stressing and I'm going to keep stressing. This isn't me saying that, you know, makeup is bad, as I keep saying. It is not. But I think if there's like almost an attractiveness scale, like a bar graph, and we were to quantify how pretty we are without makeup on, I think most people would say down here. If we were to then do the exact same thing, but with makeup, we'd probably say up here. Some people might say the same, but I want that same to be up here. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, does that make sense? So I want people to feel like I feel pretty with makeup on I feel pretty without makeup on and I can choose to do either obviously I'm not stupid obviously I know that makeup enhances the point of makeup is to enhance you know our beautiful aspects but it's about enhancing it's not about changing it's not about hiding it's about enhancing As women we're told that we have to make ourselves better or hide what we look like in order to impress people that is such a warped concept. If you actually think about it, you really strip it back. I know it's very difficult because we've been around for many years and it's been, you know, drilled into us. But if you actually really think about it, it's bizarre. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my pretty sister and she's happy with her skin being on YouTube. Go you. Are you? Well, yes. Oh Why? God, Tell me, crazy. sitting down. I am in my pajamas. I hope you don't mind. I hope that's acceptable. I love them. They're from PLT oh. for anyone who's interested. I apologise for this lid. <laughs> hey guys, I'm just editing this video back and I realise I forgot to end it. So um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. And if you did make it all the way to the end, thank you so much again. Um, I felt really passionate about this video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did uh, filming it. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.